Hi, Joe Carrig with the Carrig Real Estate Team, and this is your San Ramon Valley update for the week of January 9th. Happy New Year, everyone. And we're looking forward to a much stronger 2023 than the last half of 2022. Basically, what we saw is the first six months was nuts. And then obviously we had the transition where interest rates basically doubled. So for three months, almost nothing happened. It was almost that three months right after COVID where they kind of shut down the real estate market. Everyone, when something happens, people sit back and they wait and see. Then slowly but surely, we've seen interest rates peak, go down, and now we're seeing more buyers come out and the supply and demand is always gonna be an issue. But you look at this slide, this is from a real estate agent's perspective. This is what is scary in people's mindset out there. So the housing market crash. 41% of Americans believe the housing market will crash in the next 12 months. So almost half of the people, four out of 10 people, feel that it's gonna crash. 72% of those people feel it's gonna be worse than 2008. And 58% of the group expects a housing crash in the next year, saying they're postponing housing-related changes. So you can see why the buying has gone down so much, because number one, for two reasons. If someone has a 3% or over half of the people have, I think 60 some odd percent have a 4% or less interest rate, you know, they're not, they're not just moving to move. Plus you have all these people that feel that, hey, I'm just waiting because I think the market's gonna go down. But you know, when you look at that, you know, the mindset, and the reason why is we talked about it a couple weeks ago, you know, that the headlines are meant to terrify not notify people. And so you get these little one line things that we dealt with a couple weeks ago, but how much reality is in people's mindset? But again, their perception is their reality. But let's take a look at it. Look at this slide. Okay, in 2000, you know, 15 years ago, 2007, job cuts. There were 8 million job cuts. Today, there's zero, none. Total jobs. 138 million. Today there's 158 million. Look at subprime loans. Well, the market was all subprime loans back then. Right now there's virtually none because the banks have learned and it's much more tougher to qualify and, and restraints have been put in and guidelines. So there's hardly any subprime loans out there. New construction. The five years before the last recession, the big real estate crash of 2007, there were 7.6 million dollar, 7.65 million homes built. Only 4.6 the last five years from now. And then you look at the inventory on market. This is the stunning one. Four million homes were on the market in 2007 when the market crashed. Right now there's one to 1.2 literally only 25% as many homes on the market. That's why where they talk about the supply and demand out is out of whack, it really isn't. Yes, it was a lot less than this, you know, a year ago, but at the same point, we are still at only 25% of where we were during the recession. Mortgage delinquencies, 10.1%. Here it's 3.6 now. Homes in foreclosure, 4.6, almost 5%. Right now it's 0.6. Most lenders will accept 1%. So it's half of what more, most lenders expect. And now you hear things where they basically have said, well, we've seen mortgage rates, like look at this headline, 15 years ago, the house, housing market crashed under similar circumstances. Well, I just went over. The circumstances now are nowhere near what they were 15 years ago. But here's what I wanna show you is a home price forecast, you know, we went over last week about, you know, when you look at the experts, they feel it's gonna stay pretty much about the same. You know, what we had is we had market correct 10 to 20%, depending on what neighborhood you're in. But then for the most part, interest rates have peaked, they've been coming down, and the market has somewhat stabilized. But this is the one that is most bothersome. So you look at foreclosures, they're, they're definitely up. And you can see how, the, but they've been going down and down and down. Now, I read a headline the other day, it goes mortgage, you know, foreclosures have doubled in the last two years. And to look at it, okay, yes, they have doubled since 2021. Well, why did they double since 2021? Because they stopped the foreclosures. There was a moratorium on foreclosure. So if you don't have any, and then now they release that moratorium and you have some, it's obviously gonna be a higher percentage. But when you really look at it, except for 2021, it's the lowest that it ever was. The average person in the United States, now we're in a different area, we're talking about Georgia, Tennessee, Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, the average person has 300,000 equity in their home. Out here, 
it's a lot more than that. Unless you purchased in 2022, early 2022, chances you have equity in your home from when you purchase. So no one's going to be walking away from their homes like they did 15 years ago. So yeah, we're going to see a sprinkling of foreclosures. But if I was an agent, I wouldn't go out there and sit there and try to become an expert in bank-owned properties because they're not, they're not coming. So mortgage rates continue their downward trajectory as we we talked about. They basically have kind of peaked. Um, and you see another graph going all the way from 1110. Just in November, there was 7.8 every single week after that they've gone down and down and down and now they're like three quarters of a percent less and they're anticipated the federal reserve went from three quarters of a percent every year uh, every month raising to december a half half a percent and now they're talking about a quarter percent next week when they meet again so and then after that i think you know with the cpi index going down again even though not as much as they were hoping it still went down and that's what basically they tie inflation into I think you're going to see the mortgage rates peak and then go down closer to, you know, maybe five and a half percent, five and a half to six. Because remember, if you look at the 10 year treasury over the last 10 years, like we talked about last week, you know, you have a situation where, you know, they follow each other. They have for decades. And so if you look at the delta, what it normally is, interest rates should be five to five and a half percent. The only reason they're higher is because they're artificially being pumped up. By the, federal, by the Federal Reserve. So you can see them going down, down, down. So how does our market look? Well, it's hard. We'll look at it the next couple of weeks, but it's not like when you look at the inventory, look at, you know, the, the inventory, San Ramon is staying pretty steady. Pending properties are staying pretty steady. That's a stable market. Certainly we will see more homes come on the market now after the holidays. The key is really looking at that pending, the, the yellow, is where are the pending's gonna go. So we have a situation in Danville market where, again, active properties are actually down a little bit, which is not surprising for this time of the year. They've been going down and down. Pending properties staying about the same. Blackhawk market, well, that's the epitome of you know a stable market. But again, we'll see what happens. The next couple of weeks are gonna tell us a lot as far as when we see what comes on the market comparatively to pending's. But I'm telling you right now, we have buyers out there. We can't find homes for them. We need more inventory for the buyers that we have. So we'll see what we'll see what happens. At least good inventory, not overpriced inventory. Alamo market, inventory's down a little bit. Pendings are down a little bit. But again, fairly fairly stable market. Price the homes on the market 30 to 60 days. We're pricing this transparency pricing, which is basically if we think it's worth two million, we put it at two million. 30 to 45 days, it sells for around two millions. So. When we talk about transparent pricing, that's what we're talking about. Dublin market, you can see inventory is up just a little bit, pendings are down. Um, sold the list price, everything. Now, Alamo, you see 88%. That's there was one closing, and it happened to sell way below asking price. The ones I really look at is San Ramon, Danville, and Dublin are all around 95% because they always have a lot of closings every week. So those are more accurate numbers, and Blackhawk had no closings last week. So what we're starting to see, and you say, oh, look at the percentages going down. The reason for that is because there was a lot of price reductions being done. Now that the price reductions have slowed down, because we're more into transparent pricing, you're going to th see things sell for 90 to 95 percent of asking. Where before they might be selling for 98 percent of asking, but really they were priced higher, so it really was more than 90 to 95 percent if we could have compared it to what they started at. But now we're starting to see people, the sellers are, are getting more in gear with what's really going up right now. So as always, every market's a little bit different. Please feel free to reach out. Again, Joe Carrig, the Carrig Real Estate Team, cell number 925-487-6838, joe at carrigteam.com. Drop me an email or visit our website to learn more about the Carrig Team, www.carrigteam.com. Remember, you need an expert in this market that we're going into right now. The last couple years, I love what Warren Buffett says. He basically said that, you know, you can always tell who, you know, when the tie goes out, you can see who's not wearing their trunks. Well, almost any real estate agent could have looked good the last couple years. Now you need someone that has the experience to guide you through the market that we have right now because pricing your home wrong or not doing the correct marketing, which you didn't have to do the last couple of years, can cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. So again, reach out, Joe Carrig, the Carrig Real Estate Team, and we'll see you next week.